To increase collective know-how, you have to solve a fundamental chicken and egg problem. You don't know how to make the things you don't do, but you cannot make the things you don't know how to do. So you cannot make watches without watchmakers, but you cannot become a watchmaker in a place that doesn't make watches because you don't have anybody to learn from. So uh, the growth of collective know-how has to somehow solve this problem. And the way societies typically do it is by moving from the things they know how to do now to things that are not too far away, kind of like in know-how space. Uh, so that uh, the number of chicken and egg problems that you need to address is somehow reduced. So in order to sort of like think about it and, 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 and express it in a more visual way, we thought of a metaphor where all products are like trees. And the collection of all possible products is like a forest where every product is a tree. And these trees are sort of close to each other in the forest if they more or less share the same collective know-how, if they use more or less the same bits of know-how. So, uh, for example, so we were able to map this, this, uh, this uh, product space as this forest as, as a network representation, which we call a product space. And it is a very heterogeneous forest. It has some very dense parts of the forest where you have your know, garments and shoes, and it has some construction materials, and somewhere else it has machinery like cars and trucks and other things. Then it has chemicals, uh, then it has electronics. And, and these are sort of like dense patches of the forest, and they're surrounded by other parts of the forest which are much less dense, where, tree, where, where products are much farther away one from the other. Trees are much farther away. So, so that's the, the product space. And then a country is a collection of teams that know how to make some goods. So a country is, in this metaphor, a collection of monkeys that are living off of some trees. They are in some parts of the forest. So this metaphor allows us to say, okay, this is the technology space, the product space. Where in that space does your country have the necessary collective know-how to be able to operate? So we can map the countries, where are they in that product space? And then we can watch them over time. We can say, okay, so here's where you were before. What has happened to your ability to do things? What has happened to your collective know-how? Well, you diffuse, these monkeys move in this space and they become good at other things that they were not good at before. So uh, that is how collective know-how grows. So it grows preferentially by somehow recombining the collective know-how you already had with some additional bits of know-how and moving in this space. And because this space is very irregular, not all countries have it equally easy. If you're in a dense patch of the forest, it is very easy for these monkeys to be making progress by moving from tree to tree with very few chicken and egg problems to solve. But other countries that are more in the periphery of this space, the monkeys have the trees very far away, so they may get stuck. And that's why progress may slow down. So take the case of Thailand, say, in 1965. In 1965, Thailand was in the very periphery of the product space. They were making rice, they were making sugar, they were making jute, uh, they were making wood, and so on. Uh, a few things relatively diverse in agriculture, but all in the periphery. Then suddenly they started to get into the garment cluster. You know, a couple of monkeys move into the garment cluster, and now suddenly over time, boom, it takes over the whole garment cluster. Then a monkey jumps over to the electronics cluster. And then see over time, boom, they take over the whole electronics cluster. And now they're moving into this machinery cluster in the center. And so you see that now uh, Thailand is a major exporter of cars and trucks. So the history of Thailand is the history of the massive invasion of its monkeys into the whole product space. Mm -hmm.